Hi everyone, my name is Giovanna Proença and today we're going to talk about the Ojin Project Introduction. So basically this is one really good course where you can learn everything where to become a web developer, okay? And we're going to have some videos right now, a sequence of videos where we're going to do all the exercises. Basically here, this is our, all the, the, the content for the foundation. So you're going to learn both front end, so styling the page, how it looks like, and the back end, the part of manipulating the data okay don't worry you're gonna learn more about this during the course and once we finish we can do two courses in here in this all paths where we can go as full stack in Ruby on Rails or full stack using JavaScript okay so this is really good because you're gonna learn from scratch how can you become a web developer okay as a full stack developer So let's start working with this first part of the course. So the main idea of this video is you have to read what we have in here. I'm gonna highlight some important things and we're gonna do some exercises or do some things that we might do in here, okay, that they ask us to do. So basically in the introduction, they are telling us what we're gonna learn. So basically we're gonna learn HTML, CSS, JavaScript, how to work with Git and GitHub and other things, okay? Then how it works. So basically we're going to have multiple lessons in here. We have to read, we're going to see some articles, we're going to watch some videos and we're going to practice with some questions in the assignment. Okay, so the assignment is really good because you're going to test the knowledge you learn. And then we have the knowledge check where we're just going to double check if we got all the things we need to do in the lesson. And at some points of the course, we were going to have some projects to build. Okay, for example, here we have this project we're going to do in the future. We have the landing page project. So basically the main idea of this course is learning why we are building some projects. Okay, so now let's continue. Okay, we can skip this part, mark as complete and go to the next lesson. In here in the introduction, they kind of tell us what is the different types of web developer. Okay, so you can work as a front end, back end or full stack developer. And remember that the main idea of this course is learning how to work as a full stack. Okay, so now let's see what are the differences between them. As a web developer, you can be classified into three categories front-end developer, back-end developer, and full-stack developer. A front-end developer focuses on programming the visual elements of a website or app that a user will interact with. For example, what you're seeing right now on your screen. A back-end developer focuses on programming the server side, which can be generically said as everything you can't see, the user can see. For example, when you log into Facebook, the website needs to send your username and password to the database to check if you're giving the correct credentials. And we don't see this happening. You're only logged in, right? A full-stack developer has the knowledge to work as both front-end and back-end developers. Altogether, front-end is the part of a website that the user interacts directly with. It is also referred to as the client side of the application. Front-end developers work in languages like HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. They also work in their own sets of frameworks and libraries. SAS, Tailwind, CSS, and Bootstrap are similar to CSS. AngularJS, ReactJS, jQuery and are in the family of HTML and JavaScript. The backend is the server side of a website. It is the part of the website that users cannot see and interact with directly. It is used to store and arrange data. Backend developers work in languages like PHP, C++, Java, Python, JavaScript, and Node.js. They also work in their own sets of framework and libraries, such as Django, Flask, Express, Spring, and others. 
So like we saw in the animation, basically as a front end, we're gonna learn HTML, CSS, and JavaScript at the first time. Then we're gonna work with the backend. So this is where we're gonna learn a Python, Java, or Ruby on Rails, okay, Ruby. And finally, the full stack where we're gonna put everything together, okay? We're gonna work with both front end and back end. So this is really nice. Then types of career, you can work as a web developer in many companies, okay? For example, you can be a developer in at Facebook, Google, Amazon, Microsoft, any, any, company you want it's a really good career now the biggest question is why you should do Odin project so basically this Odin project is a really good resource because you're gonna learn from scratch even if you don't have any experience in programming and you're gonna learn step by step with a stru with a structured course and building some rea real projects how can you become a web developer okay so this is good because you're gonna learn every little thing you need to become a web developer plus you're gonna build you're gonna start building your own portfolio because here with the projects you're gonna build some web applications so we're gonna build some websites that are really good for your portfolio so it's a win-win here you're gonna learn and you're gonna ready prepare yourself for the market once you want to find a job okay and here, more than just learning those things, you're gonna learn some good practice as a programmer. For example, working with GitHub, that it's really important when you are working in a company with other people, you need to know how to collaborate with your code, okay? So this is pretty much what we, we have in here, okay? Now let's go to the next part. So basically the motivation, like I said, uh, you have to think that this is a really good opportunity for you to switch your career or start a new career as a programmer and have a career that is, has a lot of job opportunities. So it's really good if you think about it. Okay, so now let's see the part of asking for help. So since this is a course that you're going to do online, it's uh, normal that you have some questions and you want to ask for someone but sometimes we don't have someone to help us right this is one of the reasons why we have door coding school so here you can have full support from a programming expert uh, anytime you want okay so if you want to know more about this check the description below now we have content about building project as well okay but if you don't want to do this you want to try it yourself as a self taught developer it's really important that you know how to search okay so how can you search things so basically there are some ways that you can search okay the first way the first good resource that we highly recommend you to use is w3 schools okay w3 schools is a really good resource where you can find anything about uh, any function or component in html css javascript python and other languages okay so here for example if you want to know about the image tag in html this is just one example and if we click in here, they kind of will explain to you how it works, what is the definition, the syntax, some examples where you can try it out. Okay, so you can click here, try it yourself, and you can kind of play around to understand how it works. So it's really good. It's really complete with everything you need to understand a certain point of the question. The second good resource is Stack Overflow. Okay, so Stack Overflow, it's uh, where a lot of people, they ask things and they get answers from other people programmers so people it's like a network where people help each other to learn how to code or I don't know solving an issue for example if I put here div tag HTML and there someone already asked them for this for example here I want to search for how to set a border for an HTML div tag so if I click in here someone asked this question 12 